How often have you played a game with a necromancer in it, only to discover that this supposed necromancer has nothing to do with the undead at all? For me and the followers of my channel, the answer will be all the time, and it's super annoying. When certain names and descriptors are used in the context of gaming, people expect certain things. For example, when it comes to a warrior, you can count on a certain playstyle. There will almost always be melee involved for a start, and if getting up close and personal with the enemy and beating them to a pulp is your thing, picking a warrior class in almost any game will give you this playstyle. But what if you picked a game that told you you were playing as a warrior, but then when you play it your only weapons are two daggers and a bow, and all of your skills are about backstabbing enemies? You'd be a bit annoyed, wouldn't you? But the game wouldn't be wrong. In terms of meanings of words, a warrior is, by definition, broad enough to include someone who fights like this. You can't really say that it's not a warrior, but anyone familiar with games would probably describe this character as a rogue. And if you bought a game because it advertised itself as being about warriors, and you get rogues, you'd probably be annoyed. In the same way, if you bought a game titled Rogue, and it had nothing to do with daggers, bows, or stealth, and instead involves smashing everyone with a claymore, you'd feel swindled. But this exact thing happens to necromancers all the time. People who play necromancer classes in games usually expect to find undead followers of some kind, and if not that, at least magic that is somehow related to the dead. Unfortunately, there are so many games which have necromancy or necromancer in their titles, or that have a necromancer class, which has nothing to do with minions. Or worse, has nothing to do with undead or death magic at all. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, necromancer is considered synonymous with sorcerer. This is the most egregious example. It can be found in Hexen 2, where the necromancer is nothing more than a sorcerer, and also in the newer game called Hands of Necromancy, where the character you play has no ability to summon undead and seems to be a basic sorcerer. Many people are quick to point out that the definition of necromancy does not mean someone who summons and controls undead minions, but rather someone who talks to spirits. That's true, but completely beside the point. I can also tell you that the definition of rogue in no way supports the use of daggers and bows, but instead is supposed to mean a dishonest man. A druid is not someone who uses nature magic or looks after animals, it is a practitioner of an ancient Celtic religion. And the definition of warrior does not mean someone who exclusively engages in melee combat, but instead means anyone who engages in combat at all. It is all about what the players of games have come to expect from these terms. So please shut up with this stupid definitions crap, because in the context of gaming, these definitions are irrelevant. What I, and many people like me, want is to know that when I see a necromancer in a game, that I'm getting an actual necromancer, a character that can raise minions and perform dark magic. I do not want a generic sorcerer. People who want generic sorcerers pick the mage class, wizard class, or the sorcerer class. Terms like mage, wizard, and sorcerer mean any kind of magic user. Meanwhile, terms like warlock, necromancer, demonologist, elementalist, witch, etc. refer to mages that use a specific flavor of magic. A warlock or witch should be a generalist user of some kind of black magic, but not necessarily summoning minions. They can do that, but people usually don't expect them to. An elementalist should be using magic that has something to do with the ancient Greek elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Sometimes they have something like an elemental minion. A demonologist should be someone who, like a witch or warlock, uses dark magic, but with a focus more on demons, oftentimes summoning demons as minions. And a necromancer should be someone who specializes in magic related to death and undeath, and who can reanimate the dead as minions. So please, if you're a developer or publisher of games or whatever, keep this kind of thing in mind. If your mage character is not using death magic and is not raising minions, do not call it a necromancer. Call it something else. Because if I buy your game thinking I'm going to get a necromancer and instead I get another spooky mage, I'm going to make a video on it and add it to my list of poopy fake necromancer games so that everyone on my channel knows to avoid it. Thanks for listening to my rant. This has annoyed me since forever 
and I'm sure my video on it won't change a thing, but at least I feel a bit better. Please let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments, and also tell me why. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.